everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to do a packaging video and we're going to start that in just a moment. here little gems creations one so today we're packaging an order and the first part I do to package an order is I vacuum seal my item now you're probably wondering why I bother doing that and here's the reason in Canada it's very expensive to send a parcel so by me vacuum sealing it and making it the width of an envelope I can send it for much less cost and offer my customers free shipping. And my customers have all been pretty happy about it, so this is what we do. So to start, I go to my household vacuum sealer and I make a bag. And I'll show you how long I make the bag. I'm just sealing it to, for one end right now. So this is what I'm sending. I made a little dog sweater. I'll put a link in the description for the um, dog sweater. How to crochet it. It's a crocheted dog sweater. If it's an extra, extra small. So we've got our bag. So now what I do is I usually check to see if it will fit in here width wise and this one will. So I don't need a very big bag. So I'm going to go about this long, which I would say is a little less than 30 centimeters. So I'm going to cut it here. Then I'm just going to put my item inside. And I always add a little giveaway. Um, sometimes I add a coupon. This customer is going to get a little dog toy giveaway. So. You know, you want to do a little extra something something for those customers. Then I put it in the vacuum sealer and you put it in this little slot, close the lid, turn it on and I'm going to start the vacuum sealing. It's going to be very loud, so you're warned. And I want you to show what I want to show you what I do with that. I'm going to move it back so you're more in line. So I hit vacuum seal and I hold the edges. And the reason I hold the edges is it helps flatten it so that it doesn't curl as much when the air gets sucked out. So that's good, we'll let it do what it's doing. So now what I do is I'm all ready to package it. Now I have this wonderful item, my husband got it for me on Etsy. What it does is it shows me how wide the letter can be. So I'm just going to take my package and see if it goes through there. Now you see we're getting a little bit of a hang up here. And this is where my rolling pin comes in handy. So I'm just going to take the rolling pin and I'm going to roll this flat. Okay. And I'll do it the other way as well. And now we'll try this again. And see how it goes through just like nothing? Yes. Next, I put with my order this, and it basically says what it's made of and how to care for it. And I'll tape that on. Okay. Tape that on. We'll put that to the side, I'll tape it on. And then I decorate my envelope. So I have splurged and got myself a little um, stamp from Staples. So I put my return address in the corner. And then I like to put a little decorative sticker. I made these with some um, stamps that I had, some crafting stamps. And I just went and got some sticker, um, sticker circles and stamped them. So there we go. It's a nice little addition to the, to the envelope. Then I address the envelope 
and we're good to mail. So that's how I package my order. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.